impressive. I'm wet and ready to look at this bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to bust. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Oh, good lord. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, la I'm laughing at something that happened yesterday. Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? This team fucking sucks! Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need it! You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast and reliable coins and if you use code McShell you'll get a 5% discount. Alright boys and girls, so today we're going to jump into a very cheeky little card, okay? Now I'm just going to say right off the bat boys and girls, I don't want to say I'm disappointed, uh, but I'm kind of disappointed. But let's, I'm not going to talk to you guys about Javinho yet, because there's a couple of things I do want to just like touch on uh, just before we, we talk about him. First of all, let's, I'm going to talk to you guys about One Football. So if you guys don't know what One Football is by now, it's basically a football app that covers everything football when it comes to latest scores, latest injury updates, latest transfer news, pretty much everything football you can think of is covered on One Football. It's completely free to download, so you don't have to spend any money on it. And yeah, guys, you get to keep up with football, and of course, there's, you know, there's a lot to keep up with with football, right? There's a lot going on in football. Uh, this weekend, we had like international uh, break and stuff, so there was a lot of like international stuff, and uh, yeah, I have to say, Diogo Jota, seeing a lot of goals uh, come in from his head, uh, which is nice to see, and I hope he can bring that to, to Liverpool, and, and speaking of Liverpool, I believe this video goes out on Friday, so I think that's the day before we play Arsenal, and obviously if we win that game, that's going to be big things for Liverpool, and I, if we win that, boys, I think we're in a, t I was about to say we're in a title race, let me take that back, I think we're in a top four race if we beat Arsenal this weekend, because you know, you guys know that at this point, like the one football thing has become a meme, where I say, Liverpool please win and then they make me look dumb and, and we don't win so I always look stupid <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, lads, the link is in the description, okay? Give one football a download and you can keep up with everything football. Now, boys, the second thing I do want to talk to you guys about is uh, actually an icon pack. We did open the icon pack, and if you guys saw my stream, you'll know who we packed. But for those of you that missed the stream, uh, I'm going to show you guys who we packed out of the icon pack. By right, getting Zagi, I'm going to be fucking fuming. Come on, boys. Come on. Give me something juicy. It is... Netherlands? Oh, goalie. Okay. Do you know what, lads? Is it Prime? Prime Van der Sar? I think it is. Do you know what, lads? I know some of you guys can say it's an L. I don't think it's that bad. Alright, if you've ever used Van der Sar in this game, he's fucking broken as shit. I'm not even mad at that. I'm like, I'm not actually mad at that. Because it could have been Inzaghi or Vieri. I've got a goalkeeper for the rest of the game. I never need to replace my goalie again. So yeah, lads, you guys would have seen that we did get ourselves a cheeky little Van der Sar. This is uh, actually the team that we built for the Mandanda. Um, we're not going to be using this team today. But I, I will say, um, doing this objective, um, Van der Sar was sick up front. Like, he was banging in bare goals. So that was pretty fun. No, lads, this is the team we're going to be using today, okay? And yeah, kind of cheeky. Obviously, it's not going to be how my team sets up permanently. I will just be using Javinho as a super sub because, you know, that's kind of what Javinho is all about. You know, I don't want to... I'm not going to drop Nedved, let's be honest. But yeah, boys, let's go through the in-games of Javinho, okay? I, I have to say, if you just look at this card right here, this is good. This is a dub. Like, this stuff here is dub, okay? And then you come here, and that's where we get disappointment, okay? I know that he was free star, free star, and, you know, I I'm guessing a lot of you guys wanted... Uh, the skill move upgrade. I was just kind of hoping that A, if it was a 5 star weak foot 3 star skill moves, he'd be super cheap, which would have been great for me, but at least give him like a 4 star weak for EA. I was so disappointed to not see 5 star weak foot, because I was really looking forward to getting this Javinho, and having that 5 star weak foot would have just been, it would have been ultimate cheekiness. It's pretty difficult to put into words how disgusted I am, how depressed I am. But lads, it is what it is, okay? As I said, the, the actual in-games of this card are pretty nice, okay? The dribbling is absolutely cracked, 98 agility of course, amazing. Shooting stats aren't perfect, but they're far from bad, okay? Really good attack positioning, good finishing, not the best long shots, but not bad. Of course, the 
fucking hell, what was that? Like, like choking on air for a second. Of course, that's the pace is what you buy this card for. Like, the pace is absolutely disgusting. Uh, he doesn't have any traits, uh, unfortunately. Again, lads, overall, it's a nice card, but, uh, the, the, you know, again, I would have liked at least a four-star week for here. Not to mention, as well, he's a very expensive card, okay, for what you're getting, okay? There are plenty of cards in this game that are very, very overpowered and don't cost that much. 200 gave it this card it's probably not worth it like just looking at it like it might be worth it, it might be op but it just doesn't look worth it but we will find out whether he is or not today but yeah lads we've wasted enough time talking about javinio let's jump into a bit of gameplay hopefully he is cheeky so boys we jump to game number one Lads, this team feels so weird. I've just spent the last like hour or two playing with goalkeepers and it's like, let me tell you, it's like the most fun objective ever, but it was painful to play with like in terms of how slow everything felt, the passing. So this is like, this feels so fucking, I feel like I'm playing on super speed right now. Fuck's sake, why am I 1-0 down? Please? Why can't I start a game off well? I always start badly. Nice, Wendia, great interception. Okay, Javinio. Okay, Javinio making for Ran dance. Okay, Javinio. This footwork, lads, on this card. Pretty saucy, I'm not gonna lie. This off the bench could be the most goaded super sub ever. After what just happened there has got has got my balls tingling. Shit, that was a good ball. Alright. Yeah, not much I can do about that. It was just pretty nice from him. Oh, fuck me. This Dalgleish is uh, dicking me. Uh, he's absolutely dicking me. Also, why is my internet just, like, being laggy? Like, stop it, internet. Lads, this is getting embarrassing. Like, he's actually... That power thing's done very well. What the fuck is that player doing? Nice. Good ball, right? Buendia. Where's forehead? I want to whip one into him. There's no way he misses a header. Not with that forehead. He's over here, though. Still lagging a bit. It's like it's a little bit, it's not like terrible, but it's just kind of stuttery. That's a good ball though. Cross it over! Forehead! Oh. She got over. Oh my god, what a part. Oh my god, no! Lads, I don't know what happened there. I had my fucking TV had an energy saving turn off message and I fucking blocked the whole screen at the worst time. God fucking damn! I'm getting pissed now. I have Trevino. Come on, forehead. Forehead. Lovely dribbles. The pace. What a ball. Fuck me. I can't score. Veron, get it. Oh, nice. Come on, Give me a run. He's giving me a good run, to be fair. And it's a good ball. He's easy. Got pace on Puyol. Well, has he, though? No, of course he doesn't, because this game is literal shit, where Puyol is catching up to a 90 fucking 7 pace Javinio. Javinio. Ref, I mean, I, I don't know how I've got pen here, to be honest with you. I, it was uh, it was just a bad tackle, but I don't know why he did that, is what I'm trying to say. See what he's like on penalties. I think I saw 83 pens. I'm just going to go left. Alright, well, clearly he's not very good at fucking penalties. Well, that includes a pretty depressing game of FIFA. Not only was my internet complete dog shit for the whole game, but I couldn't fucking do anything right, and I got dicks by a Dalgleish. Great. Where do you think salt comes from? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. So overall, boys and girls, with this Javinio, he started off wonderfully in this game, okay? He got himself a really, really nice goal, just destroyed for round with the pace, scored a great right foot shot into the top corner, and I was like, oh, shit. Okay, do you know what? I'm quite hopeful about this card. And then, I don't know, as the game went on, just didn't really see much from him. I don't know, boys. I, again, I'm just, I'm kind of, like, still a little bit disappointed about the freestyle week, but to a point where I, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty maybe even being a little bit too harsh on Javinio here. Obviously, you guys out there utilizing those skill moves are going to get a lot more out of this card, so you're probably watching that game like, Michelle, you should do a skill move here. And I don't want to do skill moves, boys. I just want him to be fast and score nice goals. That's all I want. Maybe score a header because he has a nice big fat forehead. But point being, he wasn't that good in this game and I definitely want a lot more from him. But anyway, let's jump into another game. Hopefully he does some cheeky things, scores some goals, you know, all that good stuff. So let's jump into game number two. I nearly got him, you know. You might still get him because he didn't clear it off the pitch. Play across. Lag! Stop now! How the fuck am I supposed to review someone with this kind of lag? Javinio though. He doesn't care about lag. Fuck. His footwork's nice. That's that's one thing I'll say, his footwork is nice. Good 
Ball. Whoa, what a ball. Didn't think it would be that good. Right. Oh, the lag is the one! I'm going to kill myself, and it's your fault! Javinio. If it lags, I'm going to lose my mind. You have to get onto the right foot. That's the worst part of this Javinio. Oh, how do you mean? Bullshit. I fucking hate this game today. Well, I don't today, actually. It was good when I was playing with goalkeepers, ironically. And weirdly enough, my internet wasn't being shit. Coming up with a red fucking dot in the middle every five seconds. And people weren't, believe it or not, flip-flapping me with goalkeepers. So it was actually quite nice whilst I was playing with goalkeepers, ironically. And now I fucking hate this game when I'm actually playing with good players. Trevino. He's moved his car. I knew he would. That's a good finish from him. This lag, it literally is every second now. I just see a stutter. It's infuriating and it's hindering my opinions of Javinho. He still finished. It's a fair play. Alright, well, kind of annoying. Oh, nice. He's fouled me, but we'll play on. Big boy for Ron. He literally saved it with his ball sack. I can't be arsed. I am suffering! Well, that concludes a pretty depressing episode, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty depressing episode. We lost two games, and it just, I don't know. Internet was all over the place. I just, I don't know, boys. It's just frustrating. I just felt like with this card, I, I wanted to like it a lot more than I actually did. I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't think he was anything particularly special. Of course, he wasn't bad. Like, he did have some good things. The dribbling, the pace, of course, are going to be highlights. Shooting wasn't bad at all. Runs were okay, but I don't know. Just the freestyle weak foot makes this card, uh, like, not frustrating to use, but... It's just annoying, you know, like, I just, give me the force. I, mean, I was really hoping they did what they did with Anarchy Williams, you know. They gave Anarchy Williams the fire or skill moves, but then also gave him um, the, the four-star weak foot. So, you know, that was kind of what I was hoping with Javini. I was kind of hoping he would get, like, a, a you know, five-star weak foot with four-star skills or vice versa. Again, I don't think this is a bad card. I feel like off the bench, this card could definitely do some damage, okay? He's going to be sweaty as hell coming on in the 70th minute and scoring goals. But 200k for a super sub, <laughs> you know, that's quite a lot of money. Obviously, if you're utilizing those skill moves, you're going to get a lot more out of this card for me personally though I'm obviously not using those skills so I'm just using you know the left stick dribbling and stuff like that and he did feel all right did feel good and was by no means bad but you know for what I'm getting out of him 200k for me just wasn't worth it so yeah I don't know I'm kind of mixed on this one I, I don't think it's bad by any means I don't want anyone thinking that I thought this was a terrible card but you know and obviously I was lagging on top of that I'm just throwing excuses now but naturally I was just a little bit disappointed I was just I just wanted more it's Javinho it's forehead you know I want the ultimate of cheekiness like his flashback last year I fucking loved, uh, I, I, I absolutely loved him in the review. I even liked his inform at the start of the game, you know, but it just wasn't, uh, it just wasn't quite, as, it, I just didn't like him as much as I wanted to. But anyway, let's, I'm going to call it there, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.